Hey guys, it's Scott here from Horse Racing Daily, and tonight I'm going to go over why I think Tabo will pretty much wind up being a sucker bet for the 2022 Kentucky Derby. And uh, I'm not going to take nothing away from what he's done on the racetrack so far. He ran a really good maiden race uh, at Santa Anita. It was, ran the same day as the Fountain of Youth, and he ran really good on that. And then the Santa Anita Derby, he went from six for a long to a mile and an eighth. And he did what he's supposed to. Somebody like every year, some horse on the last round of prep races kind of comes out of nowhere and takes some of the spotlight. And this year, I think that horse is Taiba. But there is some big red flags that I'm kind of worried about. And number one is if you come over to his workouts, uh, his last workout was April 6th. And as you can see, the uh, Santa Anita Derby was ran April 9th. And uh, they missed his workout this past week, and I believe it was Sunday was supposed to be his workout. And to me, that kind of questions like, what did the Santa Anita Derby take out of the horse? Like, all the other contenders that ran the same day have all came back and uh, worked. Like Zandon worked out, uh, Mo Donegal's worked out. Yeah, there wasn't. They were pretty much maintenance works, so but they still took to the track and worked. And here you have this horse who doesn't. Who didn't come back and work out and that kind of questioned me as to why they didn't and when you got a horse that's going into the derby you kind of want everything to stay on a pattern you won't find a trainer alive that wants stuff to go different between now and the derby it's very routine that's why you see a lot of the same handicapping angles and horse race spot because trainers are uh they just want things to stay on the same page so that worries me a lot uh but we'll go ahead and watch the Santa Anita Derby, and we'll analyze. And uh, I didn't think this horse was actually going to perform as good as he did in the Santa Anita Derby. I mean, I know he looked good at six furlongs, but asking any horse to go from six furlongs to a mile and an eighth is a, a real tough task. But Tave is going to wind up sitting about, you know, just a few lengths off the pace. Uh, Messier is going to be the one you know, kind of sitting up by Forbidden Kingdom. And I think Forbidden Kingdom is more of a sprint, maybe miler horse that was getting way over his head in for the Santa Anita Derby. Uh, this probably should have been uh, Messier's race to win, but he's going to run a good second, nothing to take away from him. And he'll have his own separate video coming later on. But as you can see, Ty was sitting 30, sitting a, a really good trip which when it comes to the Derby, it's going to be hard to say if he's going to get that same kind of trip where everything's good because when you get 20 horses running, there's some are going to have a bad break. Like I can still remember in 2017 when Iris War Pioneer about took out half the field and caused Classic Empire to run a very good fourth instead of maybe a potential first or second place finish. But as you can see, Taib is going to start making his run uh, right here, and Messier is going to take over the lead. And like I said, there's nothing you can take away from Taibo on the racetrack. Uh, he's just going to wind up running by Messier in deep stretch, and he's going to end up putting this horse away and winning by two, maybe three lengths. And if you just watch the replays, you're like, you should really like the horse. But like I said, I, I notice a lot of red flags when it comes to some of the workouts and things like that going to the Derby. So for me, I'm, I'm going to play against them. I mean, if, if you like him and based on what he's done so far, I, I can't knock that. So if you like him, go with him. But I think everybody before you put your hard earned money on him should be aware of his issue with his workouts and the fact that he's jumping from six furlongs to a mile and a quarter, you know, so quick, but thanks for watching guys and more videos to come.